Hey there friends, how's it going? My name is Kevin and today we're playing some more AI dungeon where we'll all experience a little bit of pain. Some more than others. Okay, so I think this time I'm using a better AI. I upgraded to premium, but it's not really told me anything. It supposedly gives you better AI, but it's kind of confusing. <laughs> right, let's get started. All right, we're gonna go with mystery this time and I will be the detective. And your character's name, Jim Pickens. Let's go. You were Jim Pickens. Oh wait, we should put on like a noir vibe. You're Jim Pickens, a detective living in Chicago. You have a pistol and a police badge. You enter the forest where you believe Leave the criminal you're searching for fled to. Suddenly, you hear a twang and feel an impact on your back. You turn around and realize that you've been shot by an arrow. Very dramatic, if you ask me. Eat the arrow. <laughs> We're back to this. Arrow is made of plastic, so it doesn't hurt too much going down. It still tastes terrible. Say, ah, just like mama used to make it. Jim Pickens says, I'm dying. Jim Pickens says, cops don't die. They just get re-killed. Jim Pickens says, where am I? I feel like that arrow may have done more damage than we expected it to do. Jim would then say, oh, I'm inside myself. Now I can remove that arrow. Unfortunately, when you approach the arrow to pull it out, it falls deeper into Jim Pickens. Pickens. As you ponder your dilemma, the sun sets and you are struck with inspiration. You realize that the arrow is not an arrow, but in fact, a pointy arrow, like people use in thumbnails, pointing directly at the treasure. I just realized, why am I wearing my headphones? I, it, there's literally no sound, like nothing. I'll just put these down. I feel kind of naked without them, though. That's... You think I'll get demonetized for nudity? You were overwhelmed with excitement and rush home to research it further. You rush out the door, exclaim to your wife, it was a clue. Now I know where that treasure is buried. Say, who knew the real treasure was inside me all along? <laughs> Classic twist. Your wife is confused. I'm not, I'm not surprised. It was an awkward line to read. You rush into the library and decide to research the treasure further. Hmm, it says here the treasure is either gold or stomach acid. The book says that the arrow or harpoon as it is referred to in the novel points towards the treasure it also mentions how it was used by sailors to catch food specifically whales what so the arrow that he ate is actually a harpoon and the book is like it's pointing towards the treasure but i already saw it's pointing towards the treasure the only information it gave me that it was also used to catch food specifically whales and i'm not sure what to make of that ah perfect i can use this to catch my enemy toby dick a distant relative of moby dick to avoid copyright issues <laughs> he's just saying this all aloud to himself unallowed in strict safe mode what because <laughs> of the name <sighs> well then i guess it's tony richard <laughs> oh wait settings safe mode off this is dangerous <laughs> i'm over 18 should i get my mom's permission oh and i am on the good ai okay i figured it out by accident so far i gotta say this ai does seem better <laughs> <laughs> I'm not immune. Yes, you are. No, I'm not. You just wet yourself. It's not saying much, but there is an improvement there. You say, ah, perfect. I can use this to catch my enemy, Toby Dick, a distant relative of Moby Dick to avoid copyright issues. You go to a pet store and buy a large fishbowl. We're still talking about whales here, aren't we? Because that's going to have to be a really big fishbowl. You go to the pet store and buy a large fishbowl, then fill it with water. At the lake, you fill it with water and one large fish. Wait, so I filled it with water. I guess then I, I suppose I filled it with water and went, wait, if I'm going to the lake it's gonna be hard when it's already full to drive there so i'll empty it and then fill it at the lake all right it all makes sense you just gotta fill in the blanks this is a story for high iq intellectuals and there's some things that won't make sense unless you fill in the gaps do set the water on fire Fill in the gaps. The fish begins to sizzle in the water as it is filled with fire. It struggles to survive, but you manage to drop it into the fishbowl tank. What? Uh? <laughs> okay, I'm struggling to fill in the gaps here. Oh, wait, no, that might be a dangerous sentence. Um, Eat your enemy, Toby. That'll have to do, I'm afraid. <laughs> I'm too scared of where this might go. You enjoy eating your enemy. Your seedy past has now come to an end and your life has changed for the better. <laughs> what about the treasure inside? Okay, I guess that was a side quest. Can I go back? Or is, are the credits rolling you say now let's go get that treasure you get in your car and drive to the town closest to where you buried it but it's still inside of me you drive as fast as you can to the location but it is night and you are very bad at navigating hmm maybe i should take a bus to get inside me instead of driving again we're in dangerous waters here <laughs> just the phrasing alone you get on the bus and exit at yourself okay i'm here i'm inside me you enter a building with many floors you reach the floor your apartment is in and begin climbing up the stairs to your apartment Say, my stomach is quite spacious to fit an entire apartment block inside. You enter your apartment and find it very clean. You start digging, but only find a few 
few bones. This is wrong, you think. I'm supposed to be finding treasure, not bones. Okay, story. The bones start to jiggle and over the course of 17 hours, form into Brendan Fraser. He is angry. Brendan says, what the hell are you doing in my grave? You begin to jiggle and morph into Jake Gyllenhaal over the course of 18 hours. I had to one-up him, didn't I? I couldn't just let him have this. He did some super impressive. And I'm just like, yeah, you want to see what I can do? Brendan Fraser is delighted to see his buddy Jake Gyllenhaal. They start to make a buddy comedy together. But due to a clerical error, the film is titled Nachos and Burritos and only lasts 1.5 hours at most. What? All right, you know what? This is going nowhere. Brendan Fraser is finally at peace and released from his earthly bonds. This is all he had to do. He just couldn't move on until he made a buddy comedy called Nachos and Burritos with Jake Gyllenhaal. He now resides on the moon with the rest of the dead actors. Jesus, are they all up there? <laughs> oh, so that's why we call them stars because they're all up in the sky on the moon for some reason. I like how the game congratulated me as well. Anyway, back to the treasure in my stomach, Jim Pickens says. <laughs> he keeps getting distracted on all these other quests. It's like me playing Zelda. <laughs> I'm trying to get one thing done and it just keeps escalating and escalating till I'm doing something else in a totally different region. You open up your belly with a knife? Oh my god, if you can just walk in there, why are you opening with a knife? You begin rummaging around your intestines. You feel something sharp which pricks your fingers. You have found the treasure. Take the golden chest from your stomach and set it on the table. It's says, hello friend, would you like to learn about triple stars? What the hell? What is it? What, uh? <laughs> what is it? I I'm just gonna say yes, tell me more. <laughs> as you read the book, you realize... I thought it was telling me. Alright, as you read the book, you realize you've learned all there is to know about triple stars. <sighs> My god, what are triple stars? L let me explain to you what triple stars are. <laughs> now, it might actually explain it. I want to know where it's going with this. You explain in great detail what a triple star is. Congratulations, you've completed the story, Craig. <laughs> What is a triple star? Jim Pickens decides to retire at the peak of his career, going out with a bang. Brendan Fraser gets arrested for breaking into a pet shop and stealing a fish. He was sentenced to death. <laughs> did he die already? Well, yeah, he did. You're supposed to be on the moon, Brendan. What are you doing down here stealing fish? The AI doesn't know what to say. <laughs> I wonder why. All right, do attend Brendan Fraser's funeral, which is doubling as your birthday party to save on costs. Jake Gyllenhaal, he's back, sings a song in Brendan's honor. Brendan was my friend, I have many friends, but Brendan was my friend, my friend, my friend. <laughs> I'm sorry, that was just beautiful. <laughs> Do join in the singing. I, I just, it's so beautiful, you know? I don't want to steal his limelight or anything. Well, maybe a little bit, but I, I just feel like now is a good time to impress him and also honor Brendan. You all finished the song in harmony. You enjoyed singing with your friends and your voice surprised you. You think you might have a career in singing. All right, here's my moment. Sing Brendan's death song by the Red Hot Chili Peppers. It's very fitting. And yes, that is an actual song. You enjoy singing to yourself. You enjoy singing more than acting. You wish you had tried it sooner. He's not an actor. The end. You achieved the best ending. God, I wonder what the worst one was. Right, I think that's a good point for him to end his story. If that even qualifies as a story, I don't know what was going on there. What's survival? Enter your character's name. Turg. Generating story. Is this just gonna try and make me live? Oh my god, I have health. Enemy remaining three. Kill zero. You are Turg, a ranger in the kingdom of Loria. You're in the Lorian woods hunting deer when you hear a loud noise. Goblins start streaming through the underbush. You only have a small knife to fight them off. The first goblin to approach is a small green creature with a curved sword. You have a knife, but no weapon to defend yourself with. Can I have your sword? <laughs> I'm hoping he has speech maxed. Please have speech maxed. You put out your hand to take the goblin's sword. Please don't cut it off. <laughs> Just give it to me. Come on, dude. I'm the protagonist. The goblin looks at you with a confused expression. Say, please give me the sword. <laughs> I'm trying to win this adventure through manners. You offer the goblin a kiss on the cheek for his sword. The goblin gives you his rusty sword. <laughs> Confiscate all of their weapons as contraband. I think they'll go along with this. They're used to living in a civilized society. Society. You confiscate the goblins' weapons. The goblins are running away. <laughs> Is that a victory? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> All right. Earlier, I, I got a mythic scroll when I when the first guy gave me his sword. So I'm going to try and use it, whatever it does. You use the mythic scroll. You draw the knife and start stabbing at the goblins. You kill 27 goblins. They're fleeing. This is against the Geneva Convention. Oh, my God. I, co I confiscated all... What the... I... I Oh my god, I confiscated all their weapons! 
And then I, th I used the mythic scroll, but then just took out my knife and started stabbing him. I don't know if this will work, but I'm putting in do. Be tried for war crimes. <laughs> what? Achievement to earn. So that's where my bed sheet went. What? You be tried for war crimes. You draw your knife and stab a goblin. What? Just during the court? That The jury's not going to like that. The blade goes into the goblin's chest. You kill one more. The goblins surround you and start to beat you with their clubs. They kill you. Oh, I see. I'm dead. I was sentenced to death. Well, guess I'll be out on the moon with Brendan Fraser and all the other actors. I don't know if this will allow me to continue, but I'm trying to say, well, now that I'm dead, I'm on the moon with actors such as Brendan Fraser. I don't think this this one allows me to just force the story in one direction. Do put on my space suit and have some moon cheese with Brendan Fraser. Death takes no bribes. Benjamin Franklin. Okay, can I not? Is it not allowing me to do anything? Am I dead? Yeah, I think I think I'm dead. That is sad. I wanted to have moon cheese with Brendan Fraser. Wait, there's multiplayer? Horror, multiplayer, mansion. All right, multiplayer. I am the protagonist. I'm just forcing my way to be the protagonist. What does the protagonist say? I am the baddie. <laughs> I'm taking inspiration from Stuart Little in my previous stories. As the others begin to scream, you find yourself transforming into a completely different person. Transform into Call Me Kevin. <laughs> I don't think this is multiplayer, you know. I think this is just a lie. It's like, yeah, you're playing with people. Hope you're having fun. Wow, everyone likes you. The sheeted furniture is revealed to be the bodies of your friends. You sit on a dusty couch and frantically write out the screenplay to the strangest adventures of them all. <laughs> write about a character called Jim Pickens who finds treasure inside himself. <laughs> this is getting a bit too meta now. The next few days are a blur. You have a vague idea that you were involved in the creation of something called the Dark Carnival, but it's all pretty hazy. The Dark Carnival will be cancelled by the school if we don't raise enough money through the Glee Club. <laughs> I have a feeling like the protagonist struggles to focus, which is, again, a bit too meta for me. After the haze clears from your mind, you remember what happened last time. You stopped taking your medication. <laughs> oh, even the game is like, dude, just relax. Just feckin' focus on one sentence for a second. There's only one song that can generate enough hype for the crowd. This is my moment. I'm committing. I'm committing to this. We're going to do a big performance to raise money for the school to hold the dark carnival. You sit in the back of the room with your mandolin playing a quiet tune. The rest of the club heads out the to the auditorium. Hours later, you sit in a sea of staring faces. What does the protagonist say? Here goes the song. Brendan Fraser was my friend. He was my friend, was my friend, was my friend. I think that was the words. I don't know. I can't really remember. It's not the catchiest of songs. You bow as the crowd goes wild. <laughs> Your career as a musician was short-lived. But now the dark carnival can take place and bring an end to humanity. God, it's amazing we funded this entire thing, like the end of humanity through Glee Club. The AI doesn't know what to say. <laughs> it's the end. And just like that, the stories are over. I'm sure you are fast asleep now, no matter what time of the day it is. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you. And I hope to see you next time. Bye for now.